<laughs> yes, the sounds of DJ Wicked. We missed him last month. We didn't have them party vibes. Everyone was just more, more on a chilled one, on a chilled one still. We need that, we need that, we need that. But now, we got special guest in the building. Yes, yes. State your name. Yes, yes. Rhyme Schemes. Rhyme Schemes is in the building. Make some noise for Rhyme Schemes, everyone inside. (laughs) All right. Yes, yes. Notice that only a couple people made noise. That's because, like, man's are, like, holding their phones trying to film and that. (laughs) A couple went outside. But, yeah, all right. So, Rhyme Schemes. Why the name? Why the name? What's the the Uh, name? The the name name come... My, I'm known for my rhyme schemes. Okay, when of course. I write the way I rhyme, yeah. the, the name comes to me. I went through a couple of bad names. Go on, go on, tell us. I went through one name called Inspector Force <laughs> because of Oxford and Inspector Morse, obviously. Of so, course, of course. Yeah, that was Little when I was a, a lot younger. Yeah, rhyme schemes come to me one day in college, man. I was writing a lyric, and the, the thing rhyme schemes come to me, and from there. Pff, I never even look back. Never look back. Man, uh, I, still, I still think it's one of the best names. Yeah, so <laughs> of course I do. Of course I do. I swear everyone comes on here and we ask them that question and they say that. Like, yeah, my name's the best. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Best. Gosh, they have like name wars soon. But then, what, would, you, would you ever do like an, a concept album with Inspector Force and bring him up? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather use Inspector Gadget now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, more yeah, of yeah. a fan of him, yeah. Exactly. What about, uh, how long How long you been making music then? Uh, I've been writing music for... 10 years, mm. um, making music for six years, taking it seriously for like two years, okay. which is really like the difference. Because mm. I've been making music for a long time, I've been to college and stuff, done the education and thing. Well, I yeah. didn't, didn't complete it, but I did all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but yeah, music you were yeah, yeah, music technology, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Um, but yeah, now I'm taking it seriously, really seriously over the last couple of years. Um, see, see. So yeah, just trying, trying to develop the momentum yeah. and keep it going, man. Because I, I, I've always been making music, but you know, when you're making music, but you're not really taking it seriously. And it's all good to make music for fun, but mm-hmm. really, it means so much to me. Now I am really taking it seriously. Do you know what I mean? That's so. it. That's it. That's it. You really take it, really take it seriously. There's nothing wrong with uh, earning off your passion. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, or man. Trying to earn off your passion. Trying to earn off your passion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's more yeah. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, what about your influences? Who, who, who are your influences? Uh, man, like. Not um, just in hip hop as well, you can tell me. Okay, cool. I'm really like a bit of, uh, when it comes to hip hop, a boom bap baby, like Cool mm-hmm. G Rap, Big yeah. Daddy Kane, man. Two mm-hmm. of my favorites. Um, massive fan of Nas lyrically. I'm also a big fan of Jay Z for the Reasonable Dirt album. Um, but yeah, influences life in general, really, man. Like, um, not necessarily just music. So, everything around me, everything that's going on. Okay, okay. And how would you describe your style? Uh, I make conscious hip hop, man. But recently, I'm making conscious hip hop. Like I said, I'm a boom bap baby. Um, I love my boom bap hip hop. Recently, I've been trying to develop my sound onto um, onto less beats, which are usually my style. I'm trying to like branch out a little bit more and trying to experiment, trying to be like the song you played earlier. I want in with Tease. Yeah, yeah. Normally, wouldn't necessarily be my style, but yeah, since yeah. I wrote the song, I really liked enjoying. I enjoyed writing the yeah. song. It's a nice song. So since then, I've really branched out a little bit and I'm enjoying writing to new genres now. Um, I've got a bit of everything on the album, to be fair, but I've had to make it so it all works together, obviously. Because the album, I'm, I'm using the album, it's, it's going to be like a like an old school album where the album actually works as an album. Like mm-hmm. it's not just going to be a, a few tracks, a bag of tracks, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's going to be continu- continuity throughout the album. So um, yeah, I'm really experimenting with my music at the minute and what I'm writing to and I'm enjoying doing that. So. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. And when you're not in the studio, what, what are your passions or other hobbies? Or uh, like? Football. <laughs> football. Football. Football, yeah. yeah, yeah. Football. Uh, that's why you took that, that comment out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. you support? What's your team? I'm United, man. The United, yeah? yeah man. Oh, the Dutty oh, Manx, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I shouldn't have yeah. even said football. Yeah, football's my favorite. I play football as well, man. Is it what position you play? Centre midfield. Centre midfield. They might have to yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's, what's yeah. your style as a, as a, as a centre midfielder? Are you like a Box to box, man. Box to box. I'm not Jordan Henderson. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm as inconsistent as Pogba actually, but yeah, no, I'm box to box. Seven right. got seven goals this season Jeez. for a centre mid. Right. Okay, slow down, slow down. Too bad, yeah. Okay, all right. So um, tell us about the new album. I know you touched on it a bit, but tell us. Yeah, so the album's about, coming out about. like end of summertime. It's called Inside Out. Like I said, it's going to be like an album. I've I've been working on it for a couple of years. Um, it's really. Yeah, I've put my all into it for a couple of years now, so it's it's taken a while to develop, and I'm really happy where it is now. It's going to come, and hopefully it's going to all be, like I said, 
a start to finish album, mm -hmm. like the Fuji's the score type yeah. album. You know, an album you can press play at the start sure, and you can sure. let it run all the way through to yeah, that. Yeah. That's what I'm aiming for with the album. It's so nice. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. But I kind of think maybe that's not what I should be doing because who really buys albums these days? Like, it's, it's, it's not quite the same. It's not quite the same. So <laughs> I do, I do that the way I'm doing it. But yeah, I do want that. I want that real album feel to it. I put a lot of work into it, man. Yeah. I'm very happy with her sounding. So. Exactly. And, and big and up you to say the that other about, uh, people. Not buying albums, but like you know, some of the some of the albums that came out in the last few years that have been incredible. People mm. they've resonated. Yeah, with yeah, no, they really and have. Just drop, I, drop your singles in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know there you mean? go. I think, like we were saying earlier about the Renaissance about real music. Yeah. I think the album thing is coming about as well. Yeah, so I sure. said there has been some really good albums for recently. Sure, so. for sure, for sure. All right. So where are we where where are we going to be able to pick this up and what day um, come out? It'll be released on all digital platforms. All digital platforms. Um, we'll also be doing some limited edition of a other releases. Um, yeah. It's going to be at the end of summer. End of summer, no, yeah. no fixed date. Yeah, no, not end that. of summer. So keep those eyes peeled. That for that also, um, I got a gig for BBC introducing on the twenty second of May, supporting Mahalia, which is going to be a big one go, in the Bullingdon, go. Oxford. If any of the Oxford heads are listening, come down. It's like four pound fifty a ticket, man. So uh, you can't go wrong. There you four go. pound fifty. Four pound fifty. 50. A ticket. That's more than that's that is less than like you can buy a meal in Mackie D's. So and it's a Tuesday. It's eight pm showtime. Brands. It's not. It's not a drunken night out. It's Full a band. concert. Come down and see the show. Simple. Please. Simple. Any other upcoming dates you want to tell us about? Uh, that's the only. Oh, actually, Wonderfields Festival with you guys. Oh, I boom, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, see yeah, you down yeah. there. We'll yeah, be yeah, down yeah. there with you. Yeah, the whole we'll like one up. We'll, we'll, we'll have a few. Bruises I'm looking and, forward and to seeing your live maybe. band. I've heard very good things. So I want to uh, see. No, I want to yeah, see yeah, the whole show. So I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to the whole thing, man. I'm looking forward cool. to the whole weekend. I'm like, I want to see Jess. I want to see Skinny. Yeah, man. The lineup's mad actually. Yeah, yeah. Rodigan, cheese. Yeah, man. I'm going to be wave. But yeah, anyway. So, um, we're gonna throw you a little curveball now. I didn't tell you this before, and I didn't tell Earth this either. So he hasn't. He hasn't snaked you. Don't think that. But we're going to bring in um, the little game that we play with all the guests. It's called Everything is Shot. Right. So basically, um, this is our, 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 our good friend, bass player, um, Luke Nottingham. Uh, he came up with this game. So basically, how it, how it works is like this. Each question, you're going to get uh, a choice of two answers. Yeah? Right. It's quick fire. So the first answer that comes into your head, that is what you say. Yeah? If you can't answer, or it's a trick question. Yeah? We will respond with everything is shot. <laughs> All right. You might need to run that by me again, but yeah. Okay, so let me explain. There's going to be a list of questions that Marv Radio is going to ask you. Cool. Yeah? You're going to get, it's going to be two choices. Yeah. So whichever, whatever the question is, yeah, he's yeah, going to give up. you two, yeah. an A or B um, yeah, yeah, choice. But yeah. you don't answer A or B, you answer with the one that resonates with you more. The, yeah. most, the answer, yeah? yeah. Um, if you cannot answer, you take too long to answer. Everything we will shots. respond. Everything is shot. All right. Okay. So, does that make sense? Yeah, man. All right. So, you start off with ten points. Our leaderboard, at the moment, we have Tesla's Ghost with nine points, uh, Neeks and Civil, and Stinky Slumrock. Both are on eight. Joint eight, and everyone else is just shots after that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna hand over to Marv Radio now. He's gonna take you through the questions. Good luck. All right. You ready? Yeah, man. Ketchup or chili? Chili. Old Eminem or new Eminem? Old Eminem. H&M or Top Man? No, top Man. Top Man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo or Shakespeare? Carlo. Chicken or cheese? Chicken. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Trump or Farage? Oh, yes. What is that? That's not a question. What's that? Yeah, okay, I get you. How, how did someone keep nine points? Jeez. Ryanair or EasyJet? EasyJet. Spit or swallow? <laughs> yeah. Mix or scratch? I didn't hear that, sorry. Mix or scratch? Scratch. Freestyle or written? Written. Fires or breast? Fires. Uncle Phil or Phil Mitchell? Phil Mitchell. Bats or frogs? Sorry? Bats or frogs? Mm -hmm. Bats or frogs? Bats. All right, all right, all right. Beanies or caps? Beanies. Hoodie or sweater? Hoodie. Shirt or tie? Tie. Apple <laughs> or vinegar? Apple. Apple or Samsung? Apple. School or homework? School. Old school or new school? Old school. Boom bap or trap? Boom bap. Transformers or Thundercats? Thundercats. Power Rangers or 
Everything is shot. Everything is shot! I've shot himself. Good. Yeah, All right. So, so that, that I counted. Well. I counted. I counted seven point. Cool. I, and that's that's that's. I'm there on. Were the, some weird ones, is, though, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were some weird ones. Spit or swallow when actually I'm thinking about it. But, 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 but. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good game. Were there, were there any? Were there any? Was there any um like objections to him having seven points? No, no. All right, I'll seven points. So you are. Joint for well, you're third place on the leaderboard right sure, now. Take that. Okay, take so it's a good game, by the way. It's so much good, but I'll tell you, you'll be gassed again. Yeah, yeah, right, we're gonna move straight inside the dance room. Let me know. Yeah. Like James said, it's a man man's world, but menopause for the menopause, and it's the ones that love you to kill you. Give you guns and roses, knocking on heaven's doors, so let it rain on me when November pours. She calls the shots, and that's orthodox, so keep telling her stories. But all she really wants.